Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Whistle Bear. We're going to begin the ceremony very shortly. One request from the bride and groom is if you wouldn't mind turning off your cameras, your iPhones. Uh, Edward and Elfrida are going to take wonderful photographs. The couple will share those with you later. They would rather you sit back and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you.
Please stand. Let's welcome the bride. We're gathered today to witness and bless the vows of marriage between Caitlin and Ryan. You are here as their family and friends because they would like you to celebrate this wonderful day with them. They also invite you to hear the words they promise each other as they enter the covenant of marriage. So Caitlin and Ryan, here we are. You can take a deep breath, have a look around, and enjoy your day. Do you, the parents of Caitlin and Ryan, give your blessing to this couple and promise them your continued love and support and to always uphold them in their marriage? If so, please say we do. <laughs> do the parents want to bless this marriage? If so, please say we do. Yes, we do. Absolutely. There we go. I got it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Caitlin and Ryan would like to thank each of you for being here today. You are an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays and their tomorrows. Marriage needs the support of a community of family and friends who will stand by the couple during hard as well as happy times. Will all of you witnessing these vows support the union made today and nurture the bond between these two people you love? If so, please say we will. Amen. Chosen this prayer as we begin. Dear God, thank you for the beauty of this wonderful occasion. Today we celebrate the love of Caitlin and Ryan. We ask that you will bless their relationship and the new family which is being created. May they both remain steadfast in their promises to each other and live with the sure knowledge of your ongoing care and guidance for life. Amen. I'd like to invite Jillian Sweeney to come with a reading just now, please. In your life together, you will have times of laughter when the sun comes to rise in your hearts and everything is perfect. You also have to hold on to each other and make it through times that challenge who you are and what you mean to each other. You will experience moments that will live forever in your minds. Your marriage will be a shining example of what two people can achieve when their hearts are in tune and the spirits are set free by trust and support to follow their dreams. Most of all, you will learn what it means to truly love to dedicate your hearts to the commitment, sacrifice, and awareness it takes to make love last forever. Thanks. Do you want to hold hands? Ryan, will you take Caitlin to be your wife? As your companion and best friend for life, will you treat her with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by her in the triumphs and tragedies of life as her faithful and caring husband? If so, please say, I will. I will. Caitlin, will you take Ryan to be your husband? As your companion and best friend for life, will you treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by him in the triumphs and tragedies of life as his faithful and caring wife? If so, please say, I will. I will. You can repeat after me. I, Ryan, take you, Caitlin. I, Ryan, I take you, Caitlin. To be my wife. To be my wife. Knowing in my heart. Knowing in my heart. That you will be my constant friend. You will, 
that you will, in my heart you will be my constant friend my faithful partner my faithful partner and my one true love and my one true love you are my best friend you are my best friend and i will love and respect you always and i will love and respect you Hi, Caitlin. Take you, Ryan. Hi, Caitlin. Take you, Ryan. To be my partner. To be my partner. In marriage and in life. In marriage and in life. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. Walk with you through life. Walk with you through life. Wherever it may lead. Wherever it may lead. Whatever may come. Whatever may come. I promise to be faithful and true. I promise to be faithful and true. From this day forward. Caitlin and Ryan, you'll remember today for the rest of your lives. You'll celebrate the anniversary of this lovely gathering, probably with expensive gifts. That's for you, Ryan. <laughs> today, however, you're giving the gift to each other that brings meaning to all the ones that you give and receive down through the years by placing a ring on each other's fingers. The ring is a lovely piece of jewelry, but much more than that, it mystically contains the story of you. These rings will be on your fingers for longer than you have yet lived. They will see you through any challenges that come your way, as well as seeing through many years of joy and love and adventure as a married couple. The ring is the sign of your marriage covenant. That means that each of you has looked deep into your soul and you've decided something about the rest of your life. You've decided about someone for the rest of your life. So morning by morning, as you look at the rings, that you're about to give each other, may they remind you of the joy of this day, of the things that you've promised each other, and of the wonderful adventure that this has begun for the rest of your lives. So I invite you to place the rings, sign of your marriage, on each other's fingers. Go, can you can just give me out the rings. Excellent. This one's got two. Okay, thanks for saying that. <laughs> Okay, Ryan, so you can take the two small ones and as you place them on Caitlin's finger, say, Caitlin, I give you this ring. Caitlin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. Okay. You can place them. My hands are sweaty. Get them on there. Just push. <laughs> and you'll take that one. And say, Ryan, I give you this ring. Ryan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. I'm going to invite Paul Caravo to come with the reading just now, please. Always remember the wishes and the romance and all of the reasons your love came to be. Never forget the love can see you through anything if you let it. Never turn away from the sweetness of sharing. You're both so incredibly lucky. Never forget it. Never let the important things go unspoken. The dreams you have together are guideposts in your days. Never forsake them. The roads you walk together will lead to a deepening joy. Go hand in hand like you are now, as best friends on your way. Never forget that many people search all their lives for the kind of smiles you've been blessed with. Be sure to remember that love will always be life's most beautiful gift. Share, support, speak from the heart, and listen with your very souls. Know that there will be times when you may disagree. Nothing could be more natural. Simply remember that when you see things from two different perspectives, you need to give and take a compromise. The longest lasting and most loving unions in the world all have moments where their journeys have uphill climbs. But the secret they share is knowing beyond any clouds that come along, the sun will keep on shining above. As you continue on your path together, you will come across more joys than you'll ever be able to count. And you'll keep on discovering that the forever kind of love is the very best thing there is. May you always and forever be lovingly blessed with this exquisite and wonderful gift, because you deserve to have all the joyous rewards of a loving relationship. Love you guys. Love you. Love you.
Caitlin and Ryan, you said your vows before these witnesses. There's one other party interested, and that's the registrar. So you brought a license, right? Yes, Looks, yes we did, didn't we? Did. we? we did. Let's go sign it. Okay. Tell the registrar this happened here today. Caitlin, you're signing your maiden name today. Yeah. And your signature should yeah. be right there. Okay, you can stay right there. We'll work around you. And Ryan, if you'd like to sign right there. Cool. And your first witness. So if you would like to sign beneath Caitlin's signature. And one more time, we'll be right there, please. Thanks. And your next witness, so if you would like to sign right there, please. So right here, this one's for the bank loan. No problem. Whoa, you hear that? It's a good friend. Mm -hmm. Yo, Anthony. Uh, sorry, sorry you're joking. Anthony. So if you're going on a honeymoon and they're giving you a package, yeah. they want to see this, so this proves you're newlyweds. Okay. In the meantime, if you go out for dinner, put it on the table, okay. say we just got married. Hook me up. Something, right? Hook me up. So, okay, so we'll head back over. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You bet. Ryan, congratulations, Thank Folks following the ceremony, the wedding party and the immediate family will be going to take some photographs. Everyone else is invited to head to the Rose Room Terrace to enjoy a cocktail hour with drinks and hors d'oeuvres. There will be whistle bear staff at the bottom of the stairs. They will show you to uh, the right direction so you don't head off to some other reception somewhere else. <laughs> Caitlin and Ryan, may life bring you beautiful moments full of togetherness and love that leave you with memories to warm your souls for many years to come. May you discover new ways to appreciate the great gifts you have as a couple. May you have all the time you want to enjoy the magic and the wonder of your love. May you look ahead with the faith and confidence that the coming years will be your best ever. Because you, Caitlin, and you, Ryan, have made your vows of marriage before these witnesses by the authority vested in me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. It is an honor to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. De Silva. Put that in your pocket for them. Thanks, man.